Baxi Solo 15H. Not doing anything. The gentleman said yesterday when he tried to fire it, the red reset light come on. I'm just trying to get a demand now and to see what it does for me. It's quite handy with these backs. This it does give you a little run down on my phone codes are. Hands running. Sparking. Often with these I found it's the condens trap. The little wire that sticks on top of it. Let's open it up and have a look. So here we are, it's gone to lock out. Or it did a second ago. We just had a solid red and a solid green. There you go, you can just about see that red there. See it at the right angle. Then if we go over to here, obviously it's gonna be an ignition fault. On, off, on, we're looking for. Yeah, first one, ignition. <laughs> I was reading it across, not down. Just as I suspected, and um, we are getting sparking. So it's going to be a gas valve issue, PCB issue, or as I say, sometimes a condens. Off the top of my head. There we are. And you can see that. Nice little spot there, just about saw that. Let's wrap some electrical tape around it and see what we, well, see that it fires up. Now we've got the tape on, branded tape of course, for the brand colors. There we go, fires up straight away. So it's a little temp up there and we get some new electrodes in there. Second time, make sure it all fires up okay. Perfect. Love it when they go like that. Especially this boiler. This boiler always gives me trouble. So it's nice to have an easy one. Thought I'd show a quick little bit on this cool contraption. If you're wondering what this is, it's called the Pipe Peg. And it is by Dan Stokes, who makes the Tekkers. You can see on there, Tekkers. That's on that side. And Tekkers makes a Tekkers pipe cleaning drill attachment. Now, this is it's got various different holes in there. Look, solid block there. This is solid too. And it's for a 22 and 15 mil pipe. It's like a pipe vise, basically. These different holes here are different positions. You can put it in. There's little balls there that catch it. So, still getting to grips with it. But look, that position. That position. And that position. If you want to go diagonal. But also, the beauty of it is you can use this standalone and stop pipes dropping through the floor. If you're doing rad valves, I'll show you a bit of pipe. So you just literally clip it to the pipe and look, it's not going anywhere. So yeah, it's not going to slip through floorboard or anything. And the same if you're trying to solder. Let's put a piece of 22 in there. Here you go. Yep. So yeah, be a really handy addition to the tool bag. Well, to the soldering box anyway. So yeah, that's Dan Stokes. I'd say the same guy that makes the Tekka's pipe cleaning bits. Really cool. I'll put the link in my comments or not the comments 
the other thing description that's the one so now we're heading back to the electrodes job change the electrodes uh, yeah that's it nothing exciting just the electrodes but yeah have a look relatively easy job here This always worries me that these little clips are going to break. So like half turn screws, I don't like them. Make sure we've got the right ones. We have indeed. There's three different types. These ones are where the leads are already in. Run out of gloves, waiting for a new batch to arrive. Had a guy on TikTok once really take offense to me wearing gloves. <laughs> I don't know why. He commented almost on every video complaining that I was wearing gloves. Crazy. One goes on the earth, one goes in the PCB, and one connects here, because that goes onto the contents. Time has all been set for the customer. Just need that back on and the door. So next job we are at is heating works fine, tepid hot water on a Valent Ecotech Pro, I believe. So let's go see, have a look. So here we are. I'm gonna double check first. That's not letting by around the central heating side. So that's a common problem if you're not getting fully hot water then possibly plate let's find the water just notice this is happening which normally means it's a circuit board issue but they said the heating's been working fine let's do some more investigation so I've taken it out of preheat mode, just so we can look at everything fresh. Not picking up any demand, the tap being run. Shower's electric. Let's 
So first things first, we want to be checking this connector. X2, we'll just about see it written there, X2. And you want to be checking DC voltage between the black and red, which is the two top ones there. And you want five volts DC, around about 4.6, so that's okay. That tells us that the PCB is sending a signal to the sensor. Then we want to check, still with the black, and the green, and we want 2.5 volts to make sure it's getting a reading back, and it's not, so that tells us our flow sensor's gone. So that confirms that, but I am also a bit worried about this PCB, so let's get a flow sensor in there, and then let them know that there may also be a PCB problem too. So here we are, water's isolated from underneath, out of here. Little bucket underneath, and then the clip here. Pretty sure I've maybe changed two of these my whole life. And just pulls out. Can be a bit tight sometimes. There we go. Okay, we drop the phone. You can see there. Just push fit and take the old O-ring out. put this back in before you put the part in because it's a nightmare to get into it underneath so just pop this clip out pop it in a new one might as well change that one while we're here Better to do it than not, right? Get two in there. One for this end. One for the other end. I forgot which one was new then. This is a new one. some grease no oh, pushes in nice and easy Where's our clip gone? there we are make sure that's on all the way around still fluctuating I'm going to advise them the PCB night need doing because that's what is the usual cause of that temperature fluctuation but we now have hot water I'm not sure they're going to get the PCB done I believe they're selling the house soon
there you go people that was a few little jobs there that were quite interesting actually i found them interesting especially the flow sensor one was obvious but nice to actually test it and show the testing um see what we're looking for just to make sure because sometimes some curveballs can be chucked in one thing i forgot to mention was oh, sorry i caught a yawn there <laughs> one thing i forgot to mention was the techers is also you know the pipe pegs i showed is also all uk manufactured all this stuff so yeah hats off to dan he finds a problem creates a solution um, and does it himself so yeah appreciate that but how is everyone how's the work situation for everyone now the winter has gone i think although it's pretty cold today and the warmer days are coming yeah how are you all doing let me know in the comments subscribe see you next week Ooh.